Good morning, YouTube. So I was going back through some older videos, um, ones that I had titles to because I had just gotten this book, um, The God's Machines, and this talks about all the technology around the world, and it even has back here in the back um, the different uh, types of um, um, <laughs> alien uh, out in the fields, on the, the, the crop circles, yes, and, and how it lines up with this ancient technology. And, and, and over time, I have learned more things about the Freemasons, ancient technology, how the Kabbalists, they are the root of all this, they're the mother of all this, but I showed y'all in the Freemasons book how they talk about um, the, the Hindu religion and how the Hindu religion is the mother of these, um, but it is... Um, the Babylonian system, the Egyptian system, which is where Kabbalah stems from, all of this. And so, this book right here, um, this is Egyptian stuff. Um, any, anybody that knows stuff, y'all have seen this symbol right here. Um, y'all have seen archways, you know, y'all have seen stuff, okay? But, but this right here, this, this whole thing right here. It, it actually symbolizes um, a a uh, a machine, and these archways that they build um, is set up as this machine. And these ancient technologies, the 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 Egyptians, the Babylonians, the Sumerians, the 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 Aztecs, the Mayans, the 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 the, the Native Americans, all of them did things. Um, lining it up with the stars and the angels are the stars in the book of Revelation chapter 1 Please just read chapter 1 of the book of Revelation. I'm not really sure exactly which Verse it is. I think it might even be 19, but he says the stars are the angels and several times in the Word of God He says the stars are the angels So they have fallen to the worship of these stars for many many thousands of years And I will say it a thousand times and more the Native Americans did not build the mounds around the world the mounds were built by the giants and they resonate energy technology it is technology ancient technology since you know in the stone ages they didn't live in caves men have always built their own homes built their own structures that we've had this knowledge we were born to build things our whole body is set up as a foundation and the freemasons what they do which it's all brotherhood it's a culture of all religions it's all the same religion um, of uh, different religions brought into one culture and it's been there for an extremely long amount of time and over in Britain Scotland um, Europe th all these different um, Stonehenge and in Orkshire and in all Orky or whatever it might be they they're all built and set up exactly as these old ancient um, technology buildings, the, the pyramids, um, the things that, ha that that were set up and built in Africa, all of them, all of them, and and they're set up and they have all the symbols that they use, every single symbol, the zigzags, the triangles, the circles, the lines, all the symbols represent and do something. Demonic sigils, sigils are are done by lines and circles. And, and, and each demon has a sigil that lines up with it. Well, these demons are the disembodied spirits of the fallen angels' children, the giants, the Nephilim. And the more you get into the words and the concordance, try to find out in the, in the Hebrew language the, what these words mean. Mighty man, men of valor, men of old, men of renown, um, um, strong man. Uh, they all go back to the same root Hebrew words, all of them. Um, in, in some sort of way, they go back to these giants. And, and um, I'm not saying that every single word in there in, that, that, that says mighty man, strong man, mighty man, you have to do your research because different concordance, number, concordance numbers have different um, uh, meanings to them. But I'm 90% of the ones that I just named off to you go back to these giants and also unclean spirits, demons, 
supernatural, the word supernatural, it all goes back to these giants. And the giants, they were born and they were huge and they built these structures and they helped man, taught man how to build these structures and how to build these machines. See, these machines aren't alive. They have no life. It's the demon, the disembodied spirits of these giants that come into these machines. And, and over time, that, that picture that I just showed you, that is a flying, the top of it, this right here is their seal for their flying device. And see, it's at the top here. And see, over here at this building, it's at the top. That's their flying device. That's the seal for their flying device. And, and what is going on right now on the news? They're saying aliens are coming, aliens are coming. We're seeing more and more and more about aliens. Well, all ones that have, are looked and searched into the believer stuff, you know that the aliens are not aliens from another dimension. <laughs> they literally are the fallen angels, the disembodied spirits of these giants, now, whether they be the fallen angels or the disembodied spirits of the giants, that is one that is still very perplexing to me. Because in a way, I feel like they are the disembodied spirits of the giants. Because now the giants can, can um, come into a, a body um, instead of being in a spirit. See, when you do Satan worship, you have to use incense and blood to get any type of results, and um, uh, yes, incense and blood, um, to to get to see or to to feel and hear um, the demon that is that is contacting you. That they're saying that they're your past uh, relatives and whatnot, and they are not. They're demons that are from the the spirit realm, and they're coming to you in the form of your family members and lying to you. And they're leading you and guiding you. And this is not right. This is not okay. Alright. But these aliens that are coming. I believe. Oh, when you do these Satan worship rituals. You have to use these two things. So that I think it's the, with the incense. It's to be able to hear them. And that makes a lot of sense. In the book of Revelation. It says that the prayers of the saints. Go up like incense. And they're brought up into the hands of the angel. And he takes the incense. With the prayers of the saints. And he casts them into the earth. And it makes thunderings, lightnings, voices. And, allow, and an earthquake. Okay. So the incense. Do bring on voices. I do believe. Um, and the bloodshed, I believe, is how you can see this thing and visually touch this thing. And the more blood you shed or what type of sacrifice you do, that is where the blood, you know, the, the, the embodiment comes in. Well, the more that they do these things, like the Twin Towers and 9-11 that was busted down, those Twin Towers, that was done as a sacrifice. All those people were sacrificed. That was a burning for the, these people. Kabbalist, Freemason, um, witchcraft, occultists. They're doing Satan, Lucifer's work for the New World or Order, Old World Order agenda. And the thing is, is they are they have been bringing on these these flying devices, these 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 machines that these uh, aliens, these so-called aliens, these these demons that are flying in. They have built these machines. Um, here on earth with stone and wood and materials and, and what is going to be coming down it, it, it is in the spirit realm but they got to build them here as above so below it has to happen here that's why they had to get everybody to do yoga um, because that machine the large hadron collider in CERN Switzerland is set up as a huge musical instrument for Shiva, their false Holy Spirit, their false mother, false god, whatever, that they worship, these Kabbalist Freemasons, all working together, all the machines around the earth, all the people are, are saying these words like Alexa and Google, and they're calling upon these evil, unclean spirits, and that's why we're starting to finally see and visualize these things coming in. Okay, and, and this is no joke. 
but over time this this book right here is is talking about ancient technology from Egypt and and these little bitty things right here these these right here those little you know whipply things at the top those are microwaves it's a picture of microwaves to them and and it, it energy in the form of microwaves energy in the form of microwaves it's resonating at the top of this machine this 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 thing um this battery that, that resonates it so that the flying device can come in so that the flying device can cover you a shadow recovery and that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time topic but this is a Freemason book and they have their seals. They have certain seals that they use and this is one of their main seals that they use. Freemason's main seal. And look, on the pillars, this is Jason and Boaz, whichever one I, I might be going backwards on it. But the pillars, at the top, there is your microwaves. Your microwaves at the top there. And at the top, here's their flying device. The Mason's main symbol with the sun, and that represents something too. The circle with with the dot in the middle, and, and all of that symbolizes something. The rays coming out and where they stay at, where they oh, it is Jason the Boaz. It says J and B. I yeah, see. I didn't even know, but I already. I, the Freemasons do the same thing as the word does. It, they repeat themselves. They they have all these certain symbols that they use. And they have all these buildings and these things. And all the buildings that they do, it's the same buildings all over the world. These structures. They've been working together for an extremely long amount of time. Satan has been here for a long amount of time. And and so, and they do things by Egypt. I mean, there, there are things in this book that is of Egypt. All over it. All over it. Everywhere. You know, here, ISIS. Straight up. Isis, the worship of Isis, there she is, that Isis, you know, and then they've got the Sphinx in here, and then here's Hebrew, their, their cloths that they wear around their body, and the symbols that they wear around their necks, Hebrew language, all of it. But this is in Egypt, Egyptian stuff. That's what we're talking about right now. Egypt, Egyptian stuff. Uh, Revelation chapter 11, the two witnesses that come in. Egypt. Oh, I'm going to have to do another one on this, actually. Um, because uh, there's just so much here. But come back. Listen to the next one because we're going to do the next one.